Hey Legionnaires and welcome back. My name is Pope John Paul and we're here with another Dawnless Days Siege Battle for you today as the Elves of Linden and the Men of Gondor have united to take on their greatest foe and bizarrely that is Dale and Erebor. So yes we have a forces of good civil war here today. Somehow the Dwarves and Dale have angered the Elves and Gondor and they are preparing to duke it out over Anunalon. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe Gondor lost Anunalon to the Dwarves and to Dale. And they're like, you know what, we want it back. And they call on the Elves, their trusted ally from the last alliance, to help them in this one. But yes, this is a glorious 2v2 here. And as you can see, it is actually very close on numbers. We have about 3,800 defenders and about 3,800 attackers. So, it should be a very, very close one. Both sides have some elite factions and elite troops in the Dwarves and in the Elves. Some really, really good troops. And yeah, we will see how this one goes. And we've got some really, really elite Gondor Sword Infantry here as well. Like, Gold Chevron. Oh my gosh, these guys are going to be nasty. And they're going to be going straight in on some Dalian Swords. By the looks of it, they have opened up a breach, as you can see. And they will be pouring through that in no time at all. There is actually another one here. I mean, Gondor walls are at the moment a little bit buggy. And they are really broken. So I think it's just like, for a trebuchet, it might be one hit. Just to bring down as much of this wall as possible. So they're going to open up plenty of choke points, I'm sure of it. But yes, if you're enjoying seeing the Lord of the Rings action and would like to see some more Lord of the Rings action, whether it's Dawnless Days or Last Alliance or whatever, then feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. As always, guys, it's very much appreciated. And yeah, if you want to help out the channel any other way as well, check out the merch in the description and the Discord as well, also in the description. We yeah, are still waiting on anyone to dive in. But uh, they're all getting ready. I mean, the elves are getting off the wall, which is always a good idea. But they need to be careful because they are shock infantry. They could get rushed by things like these rivermen here. Um, and they actually get the rivermen instead of getting shot at themselves by uh, elven archers, which is not a bad idea. Noldorian archers preparing. I mean, Gondor's actually delayed. He's actually allowed Dale to set up more troops here in this in this choke point. A lot of actual uh, a lot of dwarves also have perished. It seems on this wall. Yes, yeah, so it seems the rivermen are getting focused down. And the response is not to retreat. They're going to move forward. They're going to try and javvy these elves. Not a bad idea. But the elves retreat. The rivermen follow in pursuit. And they need to really turn around. I get these guys out of it. They are light skirmishes after all. I mean, if you wanted to, you could get this elven unit here off the wall and you could ambush it. That would be a nice cheeky little ambush you could do on their rivermen and couch them out. Got, like, really elite warriors of Loznark as well. I mean, Silver Chevron, I just wouldn't have bothered to bring these guys because you probably could have afforded almost uh, another sword unit here with that, you, with that amount of spending. But there you go. Uh, we now have the first bit of combat. We have Gondor and Dale over here battling out. We have Watchpost sentries. It's uh, a, a spear unit going in against Gondor swords. These guys... Are very elite as we've already seen. Lots of gold chevrons. The officer of Gondor just like, hurry up, boys! I want to get inside and get myself a big. Back in my old pub. Gondor wants his wants their uh, their lands back, and more importantly, their pubs back. I believe there's probably some good pubs in this city. But yeah, anyway, there you go. It seems as though the uh, the Riverman as well got uh, caught out uh, caught out by the elves here, but they are mad. Managing to javvy while in combat. So these elves are taking actually some pretty nasty casualties. They're getting javvied at at close range. They lost a good few men here. And this guy's got a javvy in him. He's just chopping men down. There you go. They killed the rivermen. And they should... That's them mopped up nicely. So I'm already the elves are in this flank here. I mean, they're going to be moving on to the spear militia next. It's a, an easy fight, you'd imagine, for these Noldorian swords. They're uh, shock infantry against spears. That's their bread and butter. Anyway, back on this side, let's watch uh, Gondor as they duke it out here. These watch post sentries are slowly getting beaten back. You can see where the uh, the dead started over there. And you can see where the fighting line is now. They're certainly being pushed back in the direction of their own city. But yes, if you want to send in your own replays, uh, I did already mention the Discord, but if you want to send in your own replays, feel free to join the, uh, the Discord. The link is down below in the description. And yeah, it's the best way to send in your own replays if you want to feature on the channel yourself with some of your awesome Total War replays. 
And if you don't want to send in your own replays, but you just want to uh, get involved in some Total War action and just some chit chat with people that are equally Total War enthusiasts, feel free to join for that reason as well. Yeah, as you can see here, it seems as though Dale's actually giving up this choke point even before it's been fought over. He's just going to give it up. So that is an interesting decision. We've got lots of archers and stuff like here. We've got uh, archers around mountain. We've got marksmen at Dale. Lots and lots of cool stuff. But yes, Dawn of the Days is certainly getting more and more exciting with the uh, with the news about the uh, the campaign and like all the like the map that you can now look at and how it's going to look like. It looks amazing. It's looking really exciting. I'm, I'm very much excited to see all of the uh, all of the developments and when the uh, campaign does come out. Oh boy, that is going to be amazing. Uh, it really, really is. We have now got Gondor's sword infantry over here against Erebor Axe Warriors. This will be an e interesting matchup. These Erebor Axe Warriors are pretty nasty. Certainly used to be stronger when they were very heavy. Now that they're medium, I'm a little... Uh, they're not as reliable, but they are still very, very nasty. It seems as though, where's, where's Gondor's next? Oh, they have another unit here, and they are actually about to get charged by Dale Cavalry Regiment. This could be painful. Gondor has gone in a little bit too deep, and now they're about to get charged by Dalian Cav. Oh, or maybe not. We're seeing some of the Dwarves' most elite troops. Erebor sending up their best axes available. The Mansion Reclaimers are getting sent in. And this should be a fight that Gondor will not be able to win. You can only bring one of this unit, so uh, make sure you use it wisely. I mean, this uh, mansion coming out, it's a gorgeous looking unit. And it's also chevron up as well. Oh, that's going to be tough to break through. Elves on this side don't look like they've, they've had a little bit more of a, a fight over here, it looks. Maybe against that spear militia by the looks of it. But uh, it doesn't look like they've had... Oh, is that the river? That might actually be the rivermen. I think the spear militia look a little different. Oh, yeah, yeah. The spear, it, was, it was just the rivermen dead. So they've not actually had any more fights, it seems, since uh, they're running with the rivermen. Now they're able to pour in all their infantry. We've got Noldorian nobles ready. But yeah, they look like they'll be facing off against Dale. I mean, Dale and uh, Erebor seem like they're everywhere, to be honest. Uh, Dale look like they're taking the outer defences, then the dwarves will be taking the inner defences. Hopefully, they can do some damage to uh, Gondor and to the elves. But we'll see. This, we've got the uh, watch post sentries here. They're still holding, just for now. They could really do some archer support if they're actually going to do some damage to this Gondor unit. They've only killed one Gondorian sword. They need some archers to actually get in there and support, but it doesn't seem like they want to use that. Also, this Mansion Claimant, by the way, is a general. It's not just a random Mansion Claimant. They just brought, they put their general in there. And now look at this. Gondor sword actually losing. Uh, we've got Ithilien Rangers trying to support, but they're shooting at the Erebor Axe Warriors head on. This is not really going to, like, they've got pretty good missile block. You can see the arrows. They're, they're going into their shields. They're quite happy with that. They need to get, like, flanking shots. So there you go. It seems as though Erebor Axis is still better than uh, Gondor Swords, even though they've, like, been brought down in their in their uh, armor level. They've now got um, medium, sort of, like I said, heavy or very heavy. I think they were very heavy before. I think they were trained very heavy. A bit like, uh, a bit like Gondor is trained very heavy. Dalian Swords can throw in. I think they realize that there's... Mantra Clement here has already lost 20 men, 20 dwarves. I need to get those uh, Mantra Clements out of there. There you go, and now we've got Dalian Swords going in. They're going to hold the line. A bit more of an even matchup now. I think this actually might be in favour, and then they are very heavy as well. Thought it might be, it might be go back in favour of Gondor here though, because of the chevrons. Just the sheer chevron number that they have. But yeah, those Mantra Clements, you know what? They actually do take a bit of a pounding. Gonna see, gonna see some daily marksmen now get sent up. They could definitely do with supporting against the Gondorian swords. Archer support is the best way to do some damage. And oh boy, we got Cav outside the wall here. And these guys are about to go for archers. Uh, it seems like they've killed some fountain guard as well and some coast guard. They've been doing this with archers. Archers are a mountain. 
We are about to see a cav charge somewhere. It looks like it's going to be on these Gondor swords. Oh, yeah, this has not done, gone so great. Oh, and the oil is now coming down on the cav. No! What bad timing. That is actually terrible timing there for a Dale. Like, they charge in, they try to do some damage, and then they just, like, run into oil. As Gondor now takes the, uh, takes the takes the gate that is just dreadful that is actually awful like not like that's not a mistake by them that's just bad luck that's just when you know a game's just not going to be like on your side this dale cavalry regiment was a fresh unit now it's just not it seems like we're going to see oh no i thought they could have charged into the fountain guard no they could have gone for the trebuchet i guess but it seems like it's been well protected by the general who's in a square formation that's quite a, a nifty little formation they got going on there yeah, we now got more engagements of more Gondor swords and arable axes along the along the fight here. This one's a bit more in the shade. Yeah, this one here though is still brutal. Actually, this one's also in the shade. Just not as much. Yeah, Gondor's gonna have a rough time, it seems, getting through this. I mean, the elves might be the ones that are gonna have to break through. I mean, the elves are setting up their pole arms in this fight over here. So, oh yeah, they are, like, this is where Dale needs to fall back. He needs to retreat here. This is not a fight he can win. These are Noldorian nobles. The best unit Linden has available. And these guys are hard to kill at the best of times. We're seeing archers, we're seeing a spear militia get focused down there by Noldorian archers. I feel like they could use their ammo on better things. Like, this shock infantry should just blitz through these uh, spears anyway. Even if it is Axeman of, uh, like, Warriors of Loznark. These guys are pretty bad, but... They should still be able to get through Spear Militia. They're not that bad. Yes, no, the, uh, the Dwarves and Dale really need to start focusing down things like Noldoran Nobles. For sure. I mean, I mean, they were killing Fountain Guard, which is also a good unit to go after, but, uh, certainly get those... Moldorian nobles as they can. What have they got back here? They have got two Mordens though. I was going to say, do they have their, any of their own pole arms account? And they do. Also seems like they're being shot at. They've lost one man and they're pretty bloodied up. So whether they're shot up by archers or what, I do not know. Oh, Princess Coast Guard surrounding the dwarves here. And that is causing the dwarves to lose, but the Coast Guard are also losing. Who breaks first? That's the question. Um, Gondor did get repelled here, by the way, by the dwarves. They came out with very few losses, uh, very few men, though. So it was a costly fight. Uh, these marksmen of day one might want to shoot down these Princess Coast Guard. I mean, up here, these uh, uh, these dwarves actually are uh, shooting, as you can see down here, into the uh, into the Coast Guard, but they cannot get a decent enough angle. I mean, they they're doing damage though. These guys are down to hundred. Princess Coast Guard aren't like the most exciting or scary of the pole arm units, but they can do their job. When needed, down to 95, and they are losing men quickly. These dwarves here also getting focused down. I mean, I'd happily let the enemy just focus down a unit that's already done its job. Hold the line. Marksman Adele still up there. Seems the Gondor is starting to make some some ground. He is also beating the Dalian swords here, as we ex expected he might with all those chevrons he slapped on them. Enemy units have returned to the battle. So much... Blood of men is being spilt this day. What a waste. Sauron will be loving this, seeing his enemies fight amongst each other. But the Wars of Loznok surrounding the swords there. To make sure that they routed. Next line is going to be a bit tougher. They've got Lake Town Guards and a spear unit here. This is just watch post sentries. But it's a bit more of a tough, a tough opposition here for these Noldorian nobles, which are both being sent up here. They're not just keeping one reserve. They're sending both in. And the next, and it's the same over on this side. We've got more Lake Town Guard here. It's a good little tactic. And it might work. You never know. What have we got? A Dwarven Barrack Guard? And the Warriors of the Red Mountain. We've got some really nasty shock infantry coming up here now for the Dwarves. Oh, and the Gondor's actually pushed on further than I thought they had. I mean, I don't know why the dwarves don't maybe use the walls. I actually, I see why they might not want to use this wall. This wall here is being opened up. 52%. Is the trebuchet still firing? No, it's out of ammo, I think. But yeah, if they could have opened up this wall here, the uh, the defenders, then that, uh, the attackers, sorry, they could have done a lot of damage. Yeah, it's still, it's out of ammo. So, uh, but that was very, very close. But I mean, if the dwarves could, um, they could flank around with their, uh, with their infantry, like get these, uh, 
Warriors Red Mountain on the wall, then like drop off. They could surround units, do a lot of damage. I mean, that's what they're doing over here. Gondor. Oh no, sorry. This is what the uh, Archers are doing. Archers of the Red Mountain are doing exactly that. We've got Gondor Archers coming in. I see. It's all coming together. Yeah, it's a brutal fight here. I mean, look at the Dwarven Barricade going in. In they go. They're going to cut down as many of these Coast Guard as possible. And you be careful. They don't want to, like, pull through the unit. They'll lose a lot of men. Yeah, losing slightly now because they're attacking too hard. They need to pull out. They're going to lose a lot of doors for no reason here. The formation's definitely broken up. I mean, they're killing a bunch of Coast Guard as well, but still... I don't know, maybe they're doing okay now. I don't know, they are still losing. You need to be careful. That's a good unit, don't want to waste that. Or is Loznark over here being sent in to help support the Gondor swords that are starting to lose now? I've also seen the uh, elves seem to be focusing down the late town guard. And that is scaring off the uh, any chance of defending here. We now just gotta watch for a sentry. And that'll be easily cleaned up, you imagine, by elven infantry. Gondor here assaults the, the spear wall of Dale. Dale is just bringing a lot of spears. He's bringing a lot of average spears, a lot of ba really bad spears to try and hold the line. Has it worked? I can't say it has. But they're chasing down as many of these Gondor swords as possible now. I guess they're just maybe trying to lure out the spears. Which they are doing, they are achieving. And now you can see Gondor can turn around and now these guys are out of their choke point. And this is what Gondor would have wanted. And the Phalanx, uh, the uh, Lake Town Guard is going to have to come forward if he wants to support. Because you imagine these watch post sentries won't do so great. I mean, the Gondor Swords also not doing that brilliant. I think they were losing for a moment. Yeah, here we go. The Lake Town Guard is arriving. And as you can see here, the Elves now in combat. And these guys are going to get... You imagine they're going to get... Uh, sh shredded these uh, watch post sentries here. These elves are elite, and their big swords will just carve through their shields and kill the man behind. But, I mean, the Noldorian swords are also getting um, shot up by marksmen of Dale and lots of other things. It also seems like, um, oh, there's stuff back here as well. The elves are back here. I mean, I guess they're taking the cat point, and that is it. And maybe they want to assault from this direction as well. But, uh, yeah, they are... Oh yeah, this Noldorian sword here is getting absolutely focused down. Really good position. They need to send more units up here, the defending suit, to hold this position. Because this could be where they could stop the Elven army. Potentially. Look at the arrows come in. They're just destroying this Elven unit. Getting focused down. My god. They are, I mean, even though they're getting focused down, they're still winning decisively. But they have got another unit up ready. Some Dalian Swords. Oh, and the Lake Down Guard getting focused down. The Found Guard in here as well probably aren't helping the, the situation for those Lake Town Guard. But yeah, Gondor is rushing forward now. He's like, push, men, push! How are the Dwarves doing on the other side? Are they holding back Gondor? They are. More Dwarven Barrett. The Dwarven Barrett Guard is in there. I don't know if it's the same unit or a different one. They are holding back Gondor. For now. They're pushing them back here. They're still doing a really good job in this choke point. This has been a really difficult point here for, uh, for Gondor to get through. It's just over here where it's been a bit problematic. They need more ammunition. I really do. They need more ammunition to just hold this line. But we're about to see Dalian swords go in. I mean, they're going to take on these archers. The elves might get pushed back a little bit here. The archers are no slouch. They're pretty good in combat. I can't see them being a fresh Dalian sword junior. They're not quite that good.
But it does seem the late down guard are about to give way. It seems as though the defenders will be getting back to their final defensive point in a moment. I mean, the Dwarven Barrack Guard might come in and support this. You never know. Um, but, I mean, there isn't much further back they can retreat. This is the main cap point here where these uh, archers are currently s situated. They need to be careful. I mean, the Dwarven General doesn't look like he's making any moves to move back. It seems like they're, they're quite happy to stay where they are. Got Lake Town Guard here getting focused down by Noldorian archers. Got the uh, the Vineland Guard here helping to defend. This is going to be a uh, a tough spot here, you imagine, for the elves to break through. I mean, these are elite swords. Got pole arm supporting. They've also got the uh, the two wardens that they're trying to keep safe. But yes, it's still still seem like the defenders are holding on for now. There you go, the archers are sent packing. And Dale is victorious for now, but now Gondor is setting up Warriors of Loznark. And those Warriors will probably quickly break the spears. In they go. Chopping these boys down. Yeah, the spear's broken like that, and now you can see Dale's actually retreating. He's sending up some marksmen to Dale to hold the line. I don't know if that's really worth it, but hey, they're gonna they're gonna send them in. And they're focusing on these uh, Warriors of Laws and like, I wouldn't bother. I'd save your ammunition again for these Noldorian swords, but there are so many of them. Still so many. Gondor sends in fresh Gondor swords here. As you can see here, actually, we've got, uh, well, Warriors, Warriors of, uh, the Warriors, Archers of the Red Mountain, in fact, they're getting killed off here by Gondor Archers, and it's now finally the Dwarven Barrack Guard are starting to lose, and they already were, they, they kind of overpushed, and they were, kind of wasted their unit, I, th I feel, a little bit, I think they've been losing for quite a while, there's too many Gondor Swords, but they'll keep cutting as many down as possible, it's just an, it was a matter of quality over quantity, and it looks like quantity is going to win. This is too many Gondor swords for them. The Dalian swords trying to support any way they can. Arch of the Red Mountains going up here. They've got a little bit of ammo left. They're going to get on the wall and focus down, because if they do, that could really change this fight. Actually, the Dwarven Barrack Guard have gone back to even now. There's hope. We've got Warriors of the Red Mountain being thrown in here to support the Gondor. Gondor must be sick and tired of this fight here. This has been a really tough one. Certainly, Gondor is being used as the. Uh, not as the cannon fodder, but just to soak up most of the, the, pound, the pounding right now. Because Dale and. The dwarves are just setting them packing every time. But actually, they have broken through here. Has Gondor with his archers. He's broken these archers. And these dwarven barrack guard actually pulled out the choke point. And this is uh, this is going to be pretty damaging. Or it could be. And the dwarves need to go back in here. And they need to get some... Um, maybe send their general down and surround these units. Try and route them. Because they're in danger right now. Surrounding these late town guards and doing a lot of damage. Where is the uh, the other Lake Town Guard? Oh, it left there. The Lake Town Guard actually, in fact, left here. Nondoran Swords losing, I guess, because the Erebor Crossbows are doing their bit. Yeah, Erebor Crossbows are focusing down these Nondoran Swords a little bit. So, just to remind you, there is this fight going on in the back of the settlement. This is the Dale General in combat here. He's got plenty more to get through. There's an, a ship by Noble, an Oldoran Sword. It's going to be tough. 
But yeah, this is not a good sign here. I mean, I, I, to be fair, Gondor's actually losing. But we are now seeing elves push up in here. And if can I get to the, the... They should just go to the main cap point. There's only archers and crossbowmen waiting for them. Get up there and beat them. Get the get up there and, like, hold the point. You don't want to stay down here because the archers will focus you down. That's where they want to kill you. They'll happily let you just sit there at the bottom of the uh, steps. You need to get up the steps. Barrett guard, though, they're, they're doing their best. They've been surrounded. They didn't get a charge off. As you can see here, these Old Dora nobles are getting focused down by archers. Only lost one man. These crossbows here, they might need to, uh, to pull off a bit of a miracle. I mean, crossbows have got good armor piercing. Yeah, they're doing the damage. They're the ones killing the uh, Noldorian nobles. They're actually... I was going to say, why don't these Noldorian nobles push up the slope? But they are waiting for Noldorian swords to do just that. But uh, there's not much they can do. Here we go. Noldorian swords come flying in. We're going to have the daily archers. They're going to try and stop them, but... I don't know if they will. Crossbows are going to retreat. Dorian swords. Oh dear. They're doing their best. They're doing their best. But as you can see, Gondor has actually got in here. And these warriors of the Red Mountain, they're going back in. But the... I don't know why he really pulled back from this fight here. I guess because of the, uh, the, the pikes. Yeah. And the Mansion Claim is also running for their lives, trying to get back. Two Wardens also retreating. They realize the time has come. They, they needed back here at the cap point. They need to get these archers back as well. They just need to get as much back as possible while they still can. Make it as difficult as possible. Well, the dwarves in here doing their best. Or is the Red Mountain using their big sledgehammers? Crushing skulls, crushing bones. The Fountain Guard in the background are now coming up though. They're going to help make this, uh, this battle a bit easier for the Gondor Swords. Shocking because you certainly can't be dealing with, uh, with pikes. And here we go. The savvy savvy of the Fountain Guard begins. Still winning for now. And they actually won on this side here. Look at this. Uh, Erebor and the Dale actually won here. I mean, they came out with very few lost, uh, very few men. But uh, they did win, in fact. And you can see the two generals actually laying down their lives to allow troops to get back. I mean, the Violent Guards back here are losing to just a, a hailstorm of shock infantry. Oh, there is a lot of shock infantry in here trying to chop these guys down. They're not going to get out of there alive. A match claim is holding for now, but for how much longer, who knows. And the the pole arms of the two wardens are now in here, and they're winning. They're beating these uh, uh, these elves. This is an old Dorian sword that's gone in. These guys, yeah, again, like I said, shocking because you can't deal with pikes with pole arms. They are doing their best. Keep poking away, boys. So much golden armor. Oh, stabbed in the gut by a halberd. What a way to go. Yeah, they are actually getting cut down on these elves now. My gosh. A brave Dalian sword holds on here. Surrounded by, like, a horde of elves and Gondorians. I mean, that was the perfect time to shoot these Noldorian nobles. 63 men. Showed its back. It's bloodied up. You could do some damage to that. You can see the Mantra Claim losing here. The remaining shock infantry is like all these victors over here are now coming to fight over here and they're dying to elves and to pikes. These few brave dwarves that survive. An enemy general has fallen. Who's died? Oh, Dales is dead. This is a bit of an oof. But it is expected. He was facing far too many shock infantry. And with that, you imagine the uh, Dale might break, but Dale is pretty much out of troops. Yeah, that is uh, that is not looking good. And they can also now surround these mansion claimers if they choose to. And they can also just, more importantly, they can rush up here and threaten another point of the uh, the main cap point. Because the, the dwarves actually pushed the uh, 
the elves back down the slope. They've actually done some damage. But yes, the tide of battle is turning against the defenders. The Dwarven General over here, not looking too great. He's holding as best as he can. He's actually getting... I think the elves are getting focused down again. They've done a lot of damage to this Noldoran Noble. In fact, they've actually... Yeah, incredibly, have done a lot of damage. Who's shooting that? I think that is the Archer of the Red Mountain. It does not matter. The uh, Mansion Claimers here are about to be uh, defeated and surrounded. And there you go. And once that guy breaks, you imagine we might see a match out. I mean, numbers are 400 against 1,000. And there you go. A Pyrrhic victory for the, uh, for the Elves it was, in fact, a pretty brutal one. That is for sure. But yes, this was sent in by Karpov, who was playing as Linden. So thank you very much, Karpov, for sending this one in. Uh, 334 kills for these Noldorian swords here. Really, really nasty kills. Um, and then what we got? 150 kills for Noldorian nobles. 155 for the archers. 158 for another one here. Some really good kills for the elves, generally. Gondor, played by Bad Omens, had a bit of a rough time, but he had a very elite army. Look at the chevrons on this army. My gosh, I want to know how much they were spending. Um, but 416 kills with this Gondorian Sword Infantry. My gosh. Um, and then we've got like Shock Infantry over here. Actually getting 257 is pretty good. Gondorian Archers, 159. Pike, 64. The uh, Trebuchet got 103 kills. Pretty good. Then we have Zahn playing as uh, Dale. He's getting 116 kills, 109 kills with Dalian Swords. Some pretty good kills there. Brought a lot of these uh, cheap spears, but didn't then didn't support them. I felt like he was going to support with the Archers. But, um, I mean, yeah, they got like 20 odd kills. Pole arms getting 94 kills, 147 with the marksman of Dale. And the cow, unfortunately, only getting 20 kills. But that could have got some amazing kills, you felt, if the uh, oil hadn't been dumped on it. And then Replica Rider here playing as Erebor. 102 kills with his Warriors of the Red Mountain. 174 with the Dwarven Barrack Guard. 114 with the Erebor Axe Warriors. 193 with his Archers of the Red Mountain. And his crossbow is getting 78 kills. But there you go, guys. That is today's Siege Battle. Hope you did enjoy. If you did, do remember to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new around here. And feel free to leave a comment as well. And I'll see you guys in the next Dawnless Days Battle. Bye for now.